Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about the upgrades to the S550. If you guys missed the previous video, you want to go make sure you watch that now. I'll put up one of those cards here. That's where you guys got to influence and gave a ton of input on what should I do when it came to upgrades to the S550, the brand new car to the channel. The car up to this point is a 100% stock brand new 2020 Mustang GT base model. We're going to turn it into a non-base model GT with all of these upgrades just to start off with. So today what we're going to do, we're going to go through all of these upgrades and I'll save the best part for last. And guys, these are going to surprise you. I didn't choose anything that we talked about on that video, but your input is why I went with these. And we'll get to those there at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll get set up over here. So now let's go through everything that we're going to do to that car. And hopefully, guys, here in a couple of weeks from the time this video comes out, I will have most or all of these upgrades done. But I kind of want to save it until I get everything done. And then we'll do a full reveal uh, before and after on the car so you guys can see what a dramatic difference all of these upgrades will make to the car. Let's get to it. just like you do get these new parts in and I'm so ready to get these put on the car man hopefully next weekend I'll be able to get all this stuff put on this car so um, we'll go ahead and start out with some of the smaller items and some of this stuff I just ordered straight off Amazon that's where I got the best deal on some of this from so we're gonna go ahead and start out with some of the smaller items this is a Steeda clutch assist spring so the, I know the factory spring assist is somewhere over 100 pounds worth of assist. This is only like, I think, 35 pounds. Um, a lot of guys end up actually just pulling their clutch assist springs out of an S550. Um, I don't want to do that because my wife's also going to drive the car, and I know in city driving that probably would get to be a little bit annoying. So I've heard by putting this spring in there, you still get the natural feel because that's one of the biggest um, complaints about the six speed in the S550s is very vague clutch feel. You really can't tell where the clutch is engaging or disengaging. So I'm gonna put that in there. That'll be a simple and quick install. Also got a Ford racing shift knob. Comes with some uh, Loctite in there, Ford Motorcraft. Uh, hey there, actually, huh. comes with Motorcraft thread lock sealer. I don't think I've ever seen any motorcraft. And we've got of course our nut and pretty nice little uh, shift knob there. I like it. Just a little something to, just a little, you know, kind of one of those personalization things that you like to do to your car. And I think I was reading something the other day, the two most customized vehicles that are made, and I think you guys probably know what one of them is, and that's the Mustang, and the other one is Jeep. What we've got right here, guys, is Poor 15. Now, I know if, uh, I know G Funk Express, if you're watching this, I know you own stock in Poor 15. I went ahead and bought some of this Poor 15 as soon as I clicked the Buy It Now button on Amazon. I thought about you, buddy. But this is actually not the rust preventer, which they're mostly known for. I did some reviews and kind of looked this stuff up. Seems to go on pretty good. I was really debating on if I was going to use some type of aerosol for caliper paint, but I went ahead and decided to go with this brush on, get it on there good and thick. Hopefully it looks good. We'll do a video on it, guys, and I'll show you. But this is red. And um, from what I could gather, the red on this doesn't match very good here. It's actually more of an orange red, which for me, that's perfect because Ford Race Red is very orange. Got another item that I've got here, and this will go along with the caliper paint. 
There we go. They actually, uh, I'm trying to remember where I bought, I think I got these off eBay, and they actually give you one extra of each. Um, that way, I guess, if you, in case you screw it up, but these are made for calipers. You got your rear caliper horse emblems, and then your, of course, front brake caliper horse emblems. We'll put that on there. So that red uh, paint on the calipers along with that black horse, I think that adds just a, a nice touch to the way it looks with those uh, new wheels that the camera is actually sitting on right now uh, that will be on the car. All right, so what we got here. Um, so this is one of the most common things from what I was told is go ahead and install one of these on any of your uh, the, the Coyote motors, whether it be in a truck or in, in, in a car or whatever. Um, evidently, uh, especially under hard um, use and hard acceleration, they have a tendency to get oil right back up through your crankcase ventilation system right back into the intake. So getting this catch can on there, that is supposed to eliminate all that. And UPR, from what I can gather, I'm not opening this up yet, is kind of the cat's meow when it comes to, good lord, I need some tape. Let me go get a knife. All right, back with the box knife. have in here. Well, these things are pretty, these things are supposed to be plug and play right to ex your existing system. So yeah, those are just quick connect fittings. Got my instructions from uh, UPR. Huh. That's a little odd that they would put it in a, I wonder if this was a return to them or something because this is a bubble wrap um, USPS priority. Uh, yep, and there's, I went ahead and just went with the black. I think you can also get these in a stainless or a brushed. So there's the catch can itself. I guess you just unscrew it. Yeah, I'll tell you what, the, the quality on this is actually very nice. Just so you guys can kind of see the filter. Really nice machining though. I like it. And we've got the other, so we've got both hoses. Oh, I believe I got me a toolbox decal, UPR. Get this stuff back in here. Get all this box back up. You don't want to scratch this up, so I'll get ready to put it on the car. I think it's worth mentioning, guys, even though we're going to do one full reveal video, and that will be the first video that I do, I will do a separate video while I am filming all of that for each one of these individual installations. That way it may help somebody on down the line that happens to be doing one of these installations on their car. And of course, I can't do that all on one video because the dang video will be two hours long and you guys' attention span is about 15 minutes. So we don't try to get over that. All right, so what we got here, um, we'll open this up next. This right here was from LMR. And you guys know I am a big fan of LMR. Let's see what we got here. That box is kind of heavy. Oh yeah. Boom. Progressive rate lowering springs, the SVE progressive rate lowering springs. It's kind of cool they even have their, uh, they've even got their name here on the, on the spring, pretty cool. These are the SVE, what, 5300 CRs. They also come with your, your bumps, your bump stops, and the boots. So everything you need in one kit. And I think this is one or 1 1.2 inch drop on the overall car. And with the wheels that I'm putting on the car, that should be about perfect. I don't want to drop it down any further than that because this car will be a touring car for me and I don't want it beating the crap out of me when I drive it. If I want the crap beat out of me when I'm driving it, I'll drive the Fox body. Now guys, I don't know if you noticed here, but this is covered up because this company I bought this stuff from, if you watched my live stream, I talked a little bit about it there that I bought a few things from them and I regretted doing that. I tried to give this company another opportunity to earn my business. So I'm absolutely not going to give them any logo recognition on this video. But we're going to talk a little bit about what I bought.
All right, so we got clamp here. I guess you guys can see what that is. We've got an H pipe. So LMR, actually, I don't know why they don't, uh, or maybe they do, but it's in more of the higher end brand. And uh, you know, I'm I'm much of a budget guy, so this is more of a budget um, part. I think this was about 130 bucks. So I went ahead with the H pipe for the resonator to leak. All right, guys, now time for a couple of these bigger boxes. What do we have in this box right here? Now this thing has obviously been retaped, but I actually have not even opened this thing up. So that always makes that always makes me a little nervous. And I've had this thing for a couple of weeks, so hope we're not missing nothing. Now I bought this from American Muscle. I was actually very impressed with how fast it got here um, when it was here the next day for via UPS ground. All right, so you guys getting a clue what this might be? We've got clamps. Yes, sir. As you can tell, I hadn't opened this thing up. This thing is all. Set this to the side. We've got a cold air intake. Now this is the kind, and I'll put the model number up that I purchased that does not require a tune. I have decided to keep my factory warranty for a little while, at least a little while. And this was one of the ones that I've read the most on, and it looked good too. I like the sealed instead of the open box. I'll never get the, all this back in here right. Of course we got the air filter here for it. It doesn't look like anything's been opened up in here before. Maybe it just needed retake. Got our instructions. And our intake pipe. So it also still has the adapter on there for your, um, your sound tube that feeds the sound into the cab of the car. All right. So now we got a nice cold air intake going on the car. Now for some pretty stuff. What do we have in this box? Also bought this from American Muscle. Again, next day, ordered it. Ordered it like that afternoon too. They had this thing boxed up and shipped to me the next day. I'm ready to see what this looks like. I can't wait to see what this looks like on the car. Oh wow, this thing is super light. I'm actually really surprised how light this thing is. guessed it yet guys I chose which wing a lot of guys had input on that I was really struggling on this one Looks like we got some 3M adhesive tape and some hardware in here All right. what do we have? I always get worried on this stuff because I'm like man I just hope nothing got damaged in shipping it seems to be packaged pretty well. Oh yeah. Man, this thing is light. Super lightweight. <laughs> the static holding that on. There it is, boys. That is a GT350R style, one of the earlier style um, wings for the car. I think that's really going to set off the rear of the car with this black as well. Man, that looks nice. I don't know if you can tell, but the, the finish on this is super nice. Looks great. Everything, the, the fit and finish on it is, I'm pretty impressed. Well, shoot, guys. Dang it. Well, I guess we're going to get to see how well American Muscle does with stuff because I'm looking over everything here. Just make sure there's no damage. Look right here on this corner, guys. It's got a crack in it. Right 
there. I don't know if you can see that, but there is, I felt something grab my finger when I was rubbing across it. And that is absolutely a crack right there in it. Well, shoot. <sighs> well, we know they ship quick. Hopefully they still have them in stock. I just gotta, I guess I'll reach out to American Muscle, get some pictures of that and reach out to them. We'll sit this out of the way for right now. All right, guys, time for the last big box before we get to the end. I got it hiding under the table right here. Oh, that's a heavy one, too. Any guesses on what might be in this box? LMR hooked me up. I gotta be a little careful opening this with the knife. Let me pull that up. Hmm, I think I know what we have. We got leather seating surfaces, guys. We'll do a complete video on the install on this. Huh, pretty cool. Oh, I love that leather smell. All right, guys, we'll have to reposition the camera because I got the camera sitting on top of what we're gonna talk about next, and we'll do an unboxing for those. Guys, I'm gonna tell you, this was the hardest decision I had to make on deciding what wheels to put on the car. I had a dilemma. One, I wanted to buy from LMR because that is a company that I love buying my stuff from. I really liked their two wheels we discussed on that video. If you hadn't seen that, go back and check that out. I really liked the Performance Pack two wheels because I liked them because, for one, the looks, and two, I loved the 10 inch and 11 inch staggered setup. The only thing I didn't like about them was they were a 19 inch setup. Also, I loved the SVE 20 inch five spoke wheels, very narrow sp five spoke. I'll put pictures up here of that. I loved them because they were 20s. I wasn't as crazy about them because they were an eight and a half up front and a 10 and a half out back. But the price point was great on them and I really did like them. So I was really juggling on those and you guys gave a ton of feedback on those as well as the Performance Pack 2. There were several subscribers that said, Michael, whatever you do, don't put black wheels on the car because everybody and their brother puts black wheels in an S550. And you know there's a reason why folks put black wheels in an S550 because they look great on an S550. They really do. And actually guys, I am not a black wheel fan on a car. Like on a Fox body, it's just not my thing. On certain other cars, it's not my thing. But on an S550, for some reason, black wheels just go. But I reconsidered and I did not buy a black wheel. Also several guys said, buy what you want to buy, man you know, pay a little bit more money, get what you want. And that's actually when I decided to go ahead and go with the Gunmetal Performance Pack 2 wheels. I was gonna buy the whole package where they come in ready to install on the car. I've got to go put my order in and um, dang it, if they're not out of the Nitto Triple Nickels. And they're not due in till like March the 31st for that setup. And I was, you know what I'm talking about, after all of that decision-making process, you get down to the very end, you're ready to go buy them, and you're like, oh, oh look, that's not LMR's fault. I know everybody out there can't, for some reason, get those uh, Nitto triple nickels right now. So it got me to thinking about other options. I was doing some searching, and I was on Shelby's website. So Shelby, I'm gonna tell you, there ain't nothing like putting something Shelby on a Mustang because I am a huge Carroll Shelby fan and guys you know that one of my dream cars is also a GT350 an S550 or 65 it don't matter um, so I ended up going with Shelby on these wheels and let's go ahead and take a look at them now uh, get my knife where's my knife oh. all right Guys, I can't wait for you to see these wheels. I really can't wait for you to see these wheels on a car. Well, 
they package them well. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Now time for the next video. I'll show you the wheels on... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to show you the wheels, guys. I'm not going to do that to you. Look at here. They actually put a, put a little plastic ring to protect the edge. Ooh, there they are. So, guys, these are a 20-inch wheel. These are the Shelby CS3 wheels. They're a 9.5 inch up front and an 11 inch out back. And um, that staggered setup is going to look amazing on the car. And as you can see, they are not black. They are actually gunmetal, but they're a dark gunmetal, which I really like. Got the nice Shelby um, center cap. Got Shelby embossed right here. I'll go ahead and take the camera and get you guys a little closer and uh, see what you think. Guys, I can't wait to get this stuff on the car. Stick around for that next video. Hopefully that'll be out here in two weeks if I can get everything together, get everything on the car. But I gotta make a little room in here, trying to get some stuff wrapped up in here on the 57 so I can get the car in here on the lift, make my life a lot easier, especially with lowering springs, doing paint on the calipers, all that kind of stuff. So I really wanna get the car in here on the lift. So if it's not in two weeks, I'm gonna try my best to make it within three weeks, guys. So you'll want to see that video. I've got some other cool upcoming content. And hey guys, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Until next time, guys, stick around. You'll want to see these upcoming videos. I'll see you on the next one.